Hi guys, welcome back. So today we've got this Mark 7.5 Golf R in for a bunch of handling and power upgrades. Before we jump into it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, also notification bell, then you won't miss when any of our new videos go live. So we're installing um, some handling upgrades and some power upgrades. So for the power, I'm gonna be installing the APR Stage 1 ECU software, the high talk version of the file. So get the most out of the car without a aftermarket downpipe on it. And then to complement the high torque file, installing the um, DSG software as well. So increasing like the torque limits of the gearbox and then also the clamping pressure critically as well. So then the clutches don't slip with the increased output. Obviously the APR ECU software optimizes like the fuel ignition boost, all the other maps inside the ECU to improve the output. As well as that, we're going to be installing a four piece intake on the car. So racing line R600 the intake hose, the intake elbow, and the turbo muffler delete as well. And then for the exhaust system, we're installing a resonator delete on this car as well. So removing the factory center silencer, so replace it with a straight through pipe. Um, otherwise the exhaust system is gonna be standard. And then for the handling, gonna be upgrading to Bilstein B14 suspension. So a callover without the damping adjustment, but we can adjust the ride height. Um, so obviously reduce the arch gap and improve like the spring rates and the damping of the car. And then whilst we're there, we're going to be installing the 034 top mounts. So in adding another negative one degree of camber and then the wheel alignment as well, the fast road geo. And then the customer's also supplied some OZ wheels wrapped in some P4S tires. So we're going to get the um, car on the dyno and um, base get some baseline runs, the power and torque, and then get the car inside the workshop. And we're going to walk you through all the parts. And then a little bit later on, we'll get the car back on the dyno once all the parts have been fitted, the software's installed, um, show you what the car's now making, compare the graphs, and then also do a comparison of the before and after of the exhaust as well. So see you in a little bit in the workshop. Okay, so you would have just seen the Mark 7.5 Golf R on the dyno a couple of seconds ago um, so you see what the baseline output is before we do the um, hardware upgrades and the software upgrades. So we've got the car on the ramps behind us and we've got all the parts out in front of us and to the side of me. I'm just going to run you through what we are installing today. Um, so starting off on this side of the table, so we've got the OZ Ultra Ligera wheels wrapped in Michelin P4S tyres. Um, a lot of people are probably going to be asking about the wheel fitment, so um, the customer supplied these wheels. I have absolutely no idea what fitment they are, but we'll find out and we'll put it in the description of the video. Um, so obviously these um, tyres are a lot better than the factory tyres, a lot better for sort of like fast road use and really sort of like unlock a lot of grip from this car. And then moving away from the factory suspension to the Bilstein B14s. So this is a coilover upgrade. So you've got ride height adjustability and then the damping and spring rates is more optimized for sort of fast road use, also tested on the Nürburgring as well. So a massive um, improvement in handling from these. And then at the front end of the car, we're also gonna be replacing the top mounts or upgrading them rather to so 034 motorsport items. And then these will add around another negative one degree of camber either side at the front of the car, which will really unlock a lot of grip and makes a massive difference on these cars. A simple upgrade, easy upgrade to do whilst you're installing coilovers. And then moving over to this side of the table, we've got the racing line R600 intake. So replacing the factory intake airbox and then also upgrading the intake so that it goes across the whole front of the vehicle 
rather um, than on the factory vehicle, which is just on one side. So you get the full intake of the fresh air that's available, as well as obviously a higher flow air filter as well. And then we've got the Ram Air intake hose on this car, replacing the factory corrugated item. So a lot smoother flow and it also won't deform. And then you've also got, uh, moving on from the intake hose, you've then got the turbo inlet pipe, the nice degree elbow that race line call it, which replaces the factory item, which is really restrictive. And we'll show you the differences of those a little bit later on once you get the factory bit removed. And then on the turbo outlet side, you've got the turbo muffler delete. And what this does is it fully de-restricts um, like the exit of the turbo. The factory item has like two chambers in it and it's designed to basically muffle the turbo, whereas this one's just a straight through item. It's a similar kind of idea as installing like a straight through exhaust system. Um, you get a lot more turbo noise with this part. So this will completely unrestrict the air intake of the vehicle. So get a lot more intake sounds, turbo sounds, all those sounds that are hidden on the factory vehicle, uh, a little bit more power and torque as well. And then you've got the um, center resonator delete. So on these cars, um, you've got like a cap in the downpipe, then you've got a center resonator, and then you've got a rear resonator as well. Um, and then this pipe literally just replaces the center silencer. So basically you have to cut out the factory silencer and then put this one in and sleeve it. So you then only have a cat and a rear muffler um, or rear resonator in the vehicle. And we'll show you the before and after that a little bit later on. So we're gonna get all these parts fitted, um, walk you sort of like through the process, show you how we fit them. And then I'm gonna get, get the car on the alignment machine and then on the dyno and see what power it's making with the APR stage one, um, high torque with DSG software and then talk you through those graphs and show you what the car sounds like at the end of the video as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we're back on the dyno. We've finished off installing the ECU software, all the hardware upgrades, and we've got the power and torque figures up here behind me. Um, so just to run through again what this car's in had installed on it and what car it is. So obviously it's a Mark 7.5 Golf R, so it's a facelift, but it doesn't have a GPF. So this car's a non-GPF car, um, but it does have the seven speed um, DSG gearbox. So we've installed the APR ECU software, APR TCU software, four piece racing line intake, 
we've got the um, resonator delete and then we also upgraded the handling by installing the Bilsteins, the top mounts and then the OZ wheels and the Michelin tyres. Um, so we're just going to compare the dynographs we've got behind us. So the blue lines you've got the torque and the red lines you've got the horsepower with the um, dotted lines being the cars that arrived and the solid lines that's leaving us this afternoon. So um, peak power standard, this car made 328 horsepower and it made 287 foot-pounds of torque. And it's now leaving us today with around 385 horsepower and 413 foot-pounds of torque. And those are uh, maximum gains within the rev range, looking at about 93 horsepower all the way down at 4,800 and about 109 foot-pounds of torque all the way down at 4,200 RPM. So a massive difference. And this car is also making stock peak power, which is 328 horsepower, um, all the way down at 4,150 RPM, which is around about 1,850 RPM sooner. So as well as having more um, peak horsepower and peak uh, foot-pounds of torque, the power and torque also comes in a lot sooner. And you've got a massive spread of power and torque gains, as you can see all the way across the river range. This car's gonna be night and day different car to drive and obviously with the handling upgrades as well, um, it's gonna handle real nice and obviously sound nice with the intake and the exhaust as well. So hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it then please give us a thumbs up if you'd like to watch other videos of ours that youtube thinks you'll like then click up here if you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist then click here and obviously if you enjoyed the video then we really appreciate if you gave us a subscription um, and then obviously you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live and you can do that quite easily by clicking here hope to see you soon